Dear Third Prep, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud with you today to introduce a new mathematics lesson. Today, inshallah, we have the last lesson in this term. Okay, is the, uh, we have statistics, unit 3, lesson 2. The lesson is called dispersion. In this lesson, inshallah, we are going to remember the mean, the mood, and the median. And we are going to know what the meaning of dispersion and the range and how can we measure the, this dispersion and the types of the uh, of measuring of dispersion let's start the lesson before entering to the dispersion we are we need to remember the mean the mood and the median the mean which we called in this year x dash or x bar this one called x bar okay the mean is for some values equal sum of values or over the, the number of values again the mean or x bar equal the sum of values over the number of values for example if he ask me find the mean of 2 7 3 8 and 10 so to explain to evaluate the mean or x bar okay we are going to use this rule sum over number the sum which is mean 2, 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 8 plus 10 like this over their number which is 1 2 3 4 5 over 5 that's 1 equal 6 this is uh, the mean of some values now I'm going to explain the mood of some values the mood is the most common value of course we have studied the mean mood and the median in the first prep and also in the second prep and because it is, it's very important so we will uh, study again this concepts in this year okay what is the mood the mood is the most common value or the most repeated value for example if he ask me find the mood of the values 9 8 1 7 2 8 and 5 here we see that uh, 8 is repeated is the most repeated number so the mood here is 8 another example if we have numbers 10 9 3 9 3 9 here we have 3 repeated 2 times and 9 repeated 3 times so the most common number is 9 so the mood is 9 okay now i explained the meaning of the mean and the mood let's uh, study the or remember the median of some values the median is the middle value let we have some values i'm going to arrange them and take the center or the middle value for example if he ask me find the median of the following values 9 8 1 7 2 6 and 5 first i'm going to arrange them in ascending or in descending order it's up to you here i'm going to arrange them in ascending order okay the first number is 1 2 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay now i'm going to cancel one and nine two and eight five and seven so the uh, median here is six because it's the middle number another example uh, if we have ten nine two eight three and seven so I will arrange them in ascending order to be 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, here I'm going to cancel 2 with 10, 3 and 9. So in, in the middle, we have here two numbers. I can't cross them. Okay, say I, so I will talk, the, I will take the average of them like this the median will be 7 plus 8 over 2 it will be 7.5 and this is the meaning of the median 
Now I'm going to explain our main lesson which is called dispersion. Okay, the dispersion is a very, very important. Uh, it about uh, about four marks in the exam or three marks in the exam. It's a very big number because the full mark in algebra is 15 marks. Okay. The dispersion is what? The dispersion is the difference or the gap or divergence of values. Again, it means the divergence or difference among some values. For example, the dispersion is measuring that express how much the sets are homogeneous. For example, if we have a class and this class uh, and the teacher makes an, a math exam. Okay, and we are going to test the uh, marks of the students. For example, if the full mark or the greatest mark in the exam is 20, okay, is the biggest number or the biggest mark of students is 20 marks and the smallest mark of the students in the same class is two marks. Here we have a very big gap between the two values. Some of them got 20 marks and some of them got two marks. Then the gap here is 20 minus two equal 18 marks. Then this class is heterogeneous because or the homogeneous inside this class is very small because we have a big gap or a big divergence between the values of this class. Okay, uh, if we have another class and the full mark in the, or, or the greatest mark in this exam is 15 out of 20 and the smallest mark in this class is 12 out of 15 out of 12 uh, sorry out of 20 so the gap here is very small because the biggest number is 15 and the smallest number is 12 so the gap here is only three marks between the biggest and the smallest so the this class is um, homogeneous of the marks or of the level of its students okay so the dispersion is the way to check the homogeneous level inside a main subject. Again, the dispersion is the way to check the homogeneous inside a main subject. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to explain how can I measure the dispersion, okay? <clears throat> First, I explained the meaning of dispersion. Now I'm going to explain how can we measure the dispersion. As I said, what is the dispersion? The dispersion is the gap or the difference between the values. Okay, to measure the dispersion, we have two measurements. The first measurement is called the range. The range you have studied in the sixth primary the range of some values, okay, by looking to the previous example that I give to you, uh, the maximum number in a class was 20 and the smallest number was 2. The range between them was 20 minus 2 equal 18 marks or the gap equal 18 marks. Another example, another class, the biggest number was 15 the smallest number was 12. The range here is 15 minus 12 equals 3 marks. So what is the range? The range is the greatest value minus the smallest value. Okay. And for example, if he gave me uh, find uh, the range of the set of values 60, 58, 62, 61 and 59. Now I need to find the range of these values. I will check the biggest number, which is 62. 
and the smallest number which is 58 so the range will be 62 minus 58 which is equal 4 marks okay so you see here that the range is very easy to evaluate so it is the simplest measurement of dispersion so the range is what the range is measurement of dispersion but it is the simplest measurement of dispersion he if he asks me the simplest measurement of dispersion this is the range because the range is only i evaluate greatest minus smallest now i'm going to explain the second measurement of dispersion which called standard deviations deviations means uh, the divergence or the uh, uh, or the differences or the gap again deviations means differences or divergence or a gap between the values so the standard deviations between the values is a way to measurement the dispersion now i'm going to uh, explain the or i'm going to uh, show the definition of the standard deviation the standard deviation is what it is called a positive square root of the average of squares of deviations of the values from their mean what does it mean it means if we have some values okay first i'm going to find the mean okay the mean of the values then i will subtract every uh, value minus the mean again i will subtract every value minus the mean this difference called deviations again this difference called deviations so i will collect the all deviations of the values so i will put them inside the square root it gives me the standard deviation of course it's very difficult to explain oral like this i will explain in by numbers in the next examples but now i only mean to show you i need to show you the definition of the standard deviation because the standard deviation is a very complicated so it is the most important common and accurate measurement of dispersion again because the standard deviation is very complicated as we see so it is called the most important common and accurate measurement of dispersion again it is the most accurate measurement of dispersion N now the dispersion symbolized by this symbol which called sigma again the symbol called sigma sigma is the symbolize of the the symbol of the standard deviation now let's explain how can we measure the standard deviation so the dispersion measurements are range and standard deviation you don't have to uh, study this or to keep this definition you just only know if this definition come to you in the choose it means the definition of the standard deviation uh, you have to study the range the range is very very important okay now let's have a, an example for the standard deviation example and this is a very very important example calculate the standard deviation of the values of 12 13 16 18 and 21 okay as i said before first i'm going to um, have the mean and then and then i will have the deviations and then i will collect the deviations inside the square root let's explain this one step by step the first step is to get the mean the mean as i said before is called x bar the mean here equal 12 plus 13 plus 16 plus 18 plus 21 over 1 2 3 4 5 over 5 equal 16 now x bar is equal 16 okay the second the second step i'm going to draw a table 
this table from three columns like this the first column I will write the values and I will call them X X here means the values okay so I will write 12 13 16 18 and 21 and here I will write the sum and here I will shade this box because I don't need this one okay here I will make X minus X bar again X minus X bar okay here we have the values and this is the deviations X minus X bar is called deviation okay here the first one 12 minus 16 equals negative 4 here 13 minus 16 equals negative 3 16 minus 16 equal 0 um, notes I every time I will subtract minus 16 okay 18 minus 16 equals 2 21 minus 16 equals 5 okay this is the deviations to collect this deviation inside square root so I will um, square every deviation from these deviations it will be like this x minus x bar all power of 2 uh, so I will make negative 4 all power of 2 don't forget to put them inside brackets it's very very important it, it gave me 16 here negative 3 power of 2 equals 9 here 0 power of 2 equals 0 2 power of 2 equals 4 5 power of 2 equals 25 I think it's very easy now I will collect the deviations 16 plus 9 plus 0 plus 4 plus 25 which is equal 54 okay now I will evaluate Sigma and as I said Sigma is the standard deviation and from the previous definition which was the positive square root of uh, of the average squares of squares of deviations of the values from their mean okay here this symbol is very new this symbol means sum this symbol means sum okay then when you see this one okay this means sum sum of x minus x bar all power of 2 means 54 over n what's n n here means the number of values here we have 1 2 3 4 5 I have 5 values so the sum equal 54 and n equal 5 then it will be like this square root 54 over 5 54 don't forget is the sum of the deviations and 5 is the number of values which is equal 3.28 and 6 <clears throat> this is the standard deviations of some values now I will have another type of standard deviation if we have a simple table like this example the following frequency distribution for number of defective units which found in 100 boxes of manufactured units uh, again here we have 100 boxes okay and we have to collect okay the number of defective units and we know and we need to check the homogeneous of the units inside the 100 box which means the standard deviation okay the table will be like this okay the defective units means what uh, the number of zero defective units inside three boxes what does it mean it means we have three boxes each of them has no defective units and we have 16 boxes each of them has one unit one defective unit and 
we have 17 boxes each of them has two units two defective units and have 25 boxes each of them has three defective units and 20 boxes each of them has four units and 19 boxes each of them has five defective units and this is a very very bad number because one box included five defective units it's a very very uh, bad news okay now in this case i'm going to draw a table from six columns again i will draw a table from six columns like this he asked me find the standard deviation of the defective units okay now i'm going to draw the table from six uh, columns like this as we see one two three four five six units okay in the first unit in the first column i will write x and the x here means the number of defective units this one is x okay so x here equal zero one two three four and five and down here we will write the sum and uh, here i will write k what's k k is the number of boxes or the distribution this is k so this column is x this row is x and this row is k so k equal 3 16 17 25 20 and 19 their sum is 100 3 plus 16 plus 17 plus 25 plus 20 plus 19 equals 100 okay now i will write x times k x times k like this x times k means 0 times 3 equal 0 1 times 16 equal 16 2 times 17 equal 34 3 times 75 equal uh, 25 equal 75 4 times 20 equals 80 5 times 19 equals 95 so i will collect the sum 0 16 35 75 80 and 25 it equals 300 okay now i will shade those two columns because i don't need them okay here i will write x minus x bar but first i need to evaluate x bar x bar equal the sum of x minus k x times k this one over the sum of k this one again x bar equal sum of x times k which is 300 over the sum of k which is 100 it will be 300 over 100 300 over 100 equal 3 again x bar equal 300 over 100 it's very important now i have got 3 or x bar so here i will write x minus x bar like this x minus x bar it will be where is x this is x i will subtract every number from here minus 3 so 0 minus 3 equal negative 3 1 minus 3 equals negative 2 2 minus 3 equals negative 1 3 minus 3 equals 0 4 minus 3 equals 1 5 minus 3 equals 2 okay now i will make the this is the deviations of the values as i said before in the last uh, example this is the deviations now i will square the deviations how come x minus x bar all power 2 so negative 3 between brackets don't forget to make negative 3 like this between brackets power of 2 it will be 9 
negative 2 between brackets power of 2, 4, negative 1 power of 2, 1, 0 power of 2, 0, 1 power of 2, 1, 2 power of 2, 4. Okay, now I have a new step. I will multiply this column times this column. I will multiply x minus x bar power of 2 times k. This column times this column. 3 times 9 equals 27. 16 times 4, uh, 64. And 17 times 1, 17. 25 times 0, 0. 20 times 1, 20. 19 times 4, 76. This is the average of the deviations so i will collect the average of the deviations it will be 27 plus 64 plus 17 plus 0 plus 20 plus 76 equals 204 okay now i got x minus x bar all power of 2k now i have a new rule for sigma sigma here equal sum x minus x bar uh, power of 2 k sigma equals sum x minus x bar power of 2 k over sum of k up I will write this sum down I will write 100 sum of k okay sum of k equal 100 it will be then sigma equal uh, square root 204 over 100 so it will be 1.42 a this is the second kind of the standard deviation now i'm going to explain the last kind of the standard deviation of the frequency distribution of a set table okay let's study this one example the following frequency distribution shows the marks of 40 students in an exam. Find the standard deviation for this distribution. Okay. Here we have a different case because we have here sets. The sets means what? Here we have an exam of um, 40 pupils. The full mark here is 20 marks. Okay, then, then we collect the class in this table. The pupil who got from 0 to 4, their number is 2 pupils. The pupil who got from 4 to 8, their number is 5. The pupil who got from 8 to 12 are 8. The pupil who got from 20 to 16 are 15. The pupil who got from 16 to full mark are 10 pupils. The number, the total number is 40. When we have sets 0, 2, 4, 2, 8, 2, this is not minus, it's 2. 8, 2, 12, 2, 16, 2, 20. Okay, then we are going to draw a table from 7 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In the first one, we are going to write sets. The sets are 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16. Like this, 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. And here, we write the sum. And, you, and we will shade this one because I don't need it. Here, I will write x. x is what? x is the center of the set. Again, x is the center of the set. Let's explain x here in this position. x is the center of the set. For example, this set from 0 to 4, its center is 2. This set from eight to, from 4 to 8, its center is 6, and so on. How can we evaluate the center? The center evaluated by two different ways. Mentally, by looking to the lower and upper, and find the center mentally. The other way, by finding the center lower plus upper over 2 like this. x equal lower, lower limit plus upper limit over 2. Then, 
here in this position 0 plus 4 over 2 equal 2 4 plus 8 over 2 equal 6 8 plus 12 over 2 equal uh, 10 12 plus 16 over 2 equals 14 16 plus 20 over 2 equals 18 okay now I will write K now the rest of the table looks like the previous table K and X times K and X minus X bar and X minus X bar power of 2 and X minus X bar power of 2K okay here I will write K K here is the second row 2 5 8 15 and 10 2 5 8 15 and 10 the sum of k is 40 here we have x times k so i will multiply 2 times 2 4 6 times 5 30 10 times 8 80 14 times 15 210 18 times 10 equals 180 so i will collect the sum 4 plus 30 plus 80 plus 210 plus 180 equals 504 here I will write x minus x bar but here don't forget x my x bar equal sum x times k over sum of k sum of x times k over sum of k x times k 540 504 sorry over 40 which is equal 12.6 okay now the rest of the table included decimal points okay here i will write x minus x bar this is x i will use this column now i will 2 minus 12.6 here equals negative 10.6 6 minus 12.6 equal negative 6.6 10 minus 12.6 equal negative 2.6 14 minus 12.6 equal uh, 1.4 18 minus 12.6 equals 5.4 now i'm going this one called the deviations now i'm going to square the deviations like this x minus x bar power of 2 I will square this column don't forget to put them between brackets power of 2 this one will equal 112.36 and negative 6.6 .6, all power of 2 equal 43.56 negative 2.6 all power of 2 equal 6.76 1.4 power of 2 equal 1.96 5.4 power of 2 equal 29.16 okay now i'm going to evaluate x minus x bar power of 2 times k this table this column times this column like this 2 times 112.36 equal to 124.72 5 times 43.56 equals 217.8 8 times 6.76 equals 54.08 15 times 1.96 equal 29.4 10 times 29.16 equal 291.6 now i'm going to add the deviations this is the average of the deviations i will add them okay it will be 817.6 finally sigma equal x minus x the bar power of 2 times k over sum of k this sum divided this sum square root 817.6 over 40 which is equal 4 point 52 approximately this is the standard deviation of the frequency distribution of the sets table like this 
Don't forget, if he gave me numbers, we use a table from three columns. If he gave me a table without sets, we use a table from six columns. If he gave me a table with sets, we use a table from seven columns. It's a very, very important. One of them will come in your exam, inshallah. Okay, now I'm going to solve some complete and choose uh, questions. Number one, the dispersion measurements are what and what? The dispersion measurement are, as I said before, range and standard deviations. Okay, the simplest measure of dispersion is we have two measurements of dispersion, range and standard deviation, but the simplest one is the range. And the standard deviation is called the most accurate measurement of dispersion. Number three, the difference between the greatest value and the smallest value is called uh, uh, the difference between the smallest and the greatest is called the range number four the positive square root of the average of squares of deviations of the values from their mean this is the definition of the standard deviation. Number five, the dispersion to any set equally values equal what? Now, if we have set included equal values, if you need to find the dispersion, you will find nothing because there is no differences or there is no um, divergence. So the dispersion here equal zero. Number six, the mean of the values seven, five, nine, eleven, and three is the mean, as I said, I will add them like this over one, two, three, four, five, seven plus five plus nine plus eleven plus three over five, uh, seven with three equal ten, ten and nine plus eleven equal twenty, plus ten thirty, thirty plus five equal thirty five. Over 5 equals 7. The range of the set of values 6, 5, 9, 4, and 12. The biggest number is 12. The smallest number is 4. Then it will be 12 minus 4 equals 12 minus 4 equals 8. The standard deviation for nine values. Nine values, this is n equal nine, uh, is three. And here, sigma equal three. Then sum x minus x dash all power of two. So you have to study the rule. Okay, sigma is square root sum x minus x dash all power of 2 over n this is equal 3 here i will substitute 
uh, n with 9 therefore square root sum x minus x dash all power of 2 over 9 equals 3 now I'm going to cancel the square root how come by squaring the two sides like this therefore sum x minus x dash all power of 2 over 9 equals 9 I will send this one as time therefore sum x minus x dash all power of 2 equals 81 then the answer here is 81 the next question the commonest measure of dispersion and the most accurate is the standard deviation the most repeated value of the set of values represent what is the most common value the most common value is the mood 11 if all individuals are equal then what then the dispersion equal 0 or the standard deviation equal 0 sum x minus x bar all power of 2 equal 28 of the set of values and the number of values equal 7 then sigma equal what sigma equal square root sum x minus x bar all power of 2 over n equal square root 28 over 7 which is equal to and this is the end of the lesson i hope it was helpful for you see you in the next video inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh mr ahmed mahmoud was with you